All right, you are welcome again. Today, we want to talk about formation of ordinary differential equation. And we want to take a look at this special case. Please, I want you to pay attention to it. It's very simple, but um, it's not that easy. Okay, but you know, the way it is, that's what makes it to be difficult. But if you know how to arrange your work, very well not to be confused it's actually very simple and i'm going to help you to do it in this video okay in this lesson i'm going to take it step by step on how to arrange your work on when you get to this point what are you going to do now let's take a look at the question it says we are to form a differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constant of the equation a x squared plus b y squared equal to one a x squared plus b y squared equal to one we are to form a differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constant so first of all how many arbitrary constant is involved two a and b so since two arbitrary constant is involved that means we are going to differentiate this function two times to eliminate this arbitrary constant. You get it right? Good. Now, let's differentiate for the first time. When we differentiate ax squared, it's going to give us 2ax. And then, when we differentiate by squared, you know, we're going to differentiate this y as if it is x and then add the y the x so when we differentiate y squared as if it is x it's going to give you 2y they will say multiply by b you get it right then you add the dy dx so that means the differentiation of b y squared is 2b y dy dx equal to when we differentiate 1, which is a constant, it's going to give us 0. Let's call this equation 2. So, as we differentiated for the first time, we have 2ax plus 2by dy dx equal to 0. Let's take one term to the other side. So, Taking the uh, one term to the other side, we're going to have 2ax equal to minus 2by dy dx. In this place, we want to make a the subject. Hello. We want to make a the what? The subject. So making a the subject, that means we want a to stand alone. In this left hand side, we will have 2ax. That means we are going to divide both sides by 2x. We are going to divide both sides by 2x. So when we do so, we are going to say 2ax divided by 2x is equal to minus 2by divided by x all over 2x. So in the left hand side, we are going to have a is equal to in the right hand side we're going to have minus b y y derivative all over x you know two is involved in this place two in the numerator we cancel two in the denominator all right so we have minus b y y derivative all over x you know this dy dx is simply y derivative or we say y prime it's either you call it the y dx or you say y derivative or you say y prime all are the same thing okay good now pay attention to this place let's arrange this so that you not be confused now this place we have minus b y y derivative all over x is the same thing as saying minus b times y times 1 all over x times y derivative hello 
and then you know it's still the same thing as saying a is equal to minus b times y times 1 all over x times dy dx it's still the same thing Abby? now we can reduce it to b in this form a is equal to minus b y all over x dy dx hello it's still the same thing minus b y all over x dy dx you know is multiplying dy dx and dy dx is the same thing as saying y derivative okay good so that means a is equal to minus b y all over x dy dx let's keep it safe or let's call it equation three let's call it equation three good let's go back to equation two you know we only differentiated ones and as we differentiated ones we make a the subject that's just what we did we differentiated ones make a the subject go back to equation two again and then in equation two we say 2ax plus 2by dy dx equal to zero let's differentiate for the last time the second time which is also the last time so differentiating for the second time when we differentiate 2ax we're going to have 2a all right good and then coming to this second time we have 2by dy dx you know 2b is a constant let's put it by the side and open a bracket that means we're going to differentiate y and dy and then y times dy is uh product we're going to use product rule that means we differentiate y when we differentiate y with respect to x is going to give us dy dx then multiply by the dy dx you know we have y dy dx we differentiate y multiply by dy dx plus we differentiate dy dx multiply by y hello now let's go in this place we put 2b outside the bracket and then when we differentiate y we are going to have dy dx multiplied by dy dx plus when we differentiate dy dx it's going to give us d squared y all over dx squared then multiply by y okay then we put it in bracket equal to zero now in the bracket we have dy dx multiplied by dy dx is going to give us dy dx squared now multiply by 2b outside the bracket that is using 2b to open the bracket now that means we're going to have 2b dy dx in bracket squared hello so here we have 2b dy dx in bracket squared plus in this place we say d squared y all over dx squared multiplied by y multiply by 2b outside the bracket if you remember we are using this 2b to open the bracket okay so we when we multiply we're going to have 2by d squared y all over ds squared equal to zero all right good now as we look closely you see that in all the terms we have two 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 what are we doing with two let's divide both sides by two let's divide through by two so we'll divide through by two we're going to have a plus b dy dx in bracket squared plus by d squared y all over ds squared equal to zero let's call this equation five we call this equation five now you can see here that a is standing alone hello we can see here that a is standing alone and in equation three we have solved for the value of a is that true so we can replace the value of a back now so replacing it back that means we're going to have that is substituting for the value of a we're going to have minus b y all over x dy dx that is in place of a in equation two we have a is equal to minus b y all over x dy dx so and then in this place we have a we replace it with this value we have minus b y all over x dy dx plus we have b dy dx in bracket squared plus b y d squared y all over d x squared equal to zero now looking at this first term 
where we have minus b y all over x we want to remove this b and then we want to also remove the fraction x you know in this place we have minus b y all over x we want to remove the b and we want to remove the fraction that means we are going to multiply everything by x all over b when you multiply both sides by x all over b the b we go and then the fraction at the same time we do what we go is that clear now let's do it let's multiply through multiply everything by x all over b when we do so we are going to have minus b y all over x dy dx times x all over b plus b dy dx a bracket squared multiplied by x all over b plus b y d squared y all over d x squared multiplied by x all over b equal to zero so in the first term x we cancel x in the denominator and b we cancel b in the denominator in the second term b we cancel out and in the third term b we also cancel out so after this cancellation we are left with minus y dy dx plus x dy dx in bracket squared plus x y d squared y all over d x squared equal to zero let's rearrange this properly we are going to have x y d squared y all over d x squared plus x dy dx in bracket squared minus y dy dx equal to zero so the differential equation corresponding to the function a x squared plus b y squared equal to one is x y d squared y all over d x squared plus x dy dx in bracket squared minus y dy dx equal to zero this is how to form a differential equation i hope you like this hmm? please click the like button if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel please do we plead with you subscribe to our youtube channel let's learn together like and share our videos stay blessed let's see more examples